Hey there, Clark here, and welcome to this Let's Play of a community-made mod for Portal 2 called Portal Stories Mel. This mod contains 20 maps, and the developers estimate that each map should take roughly around 15 to 45 minutes to complete, so I am going to make a video for every level in this mod. Beginning with level 1, which I am going to start playing right now. Chapter 1. All right. Oh, this is the loading screen, huh? <laughs> Silly me. I was like, oh, wow, it threw me into the game real quick. These screenshots look really nice. All right, here we go. Right? We're in a train, it looks like. Tom. Oh. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero. I know that voice. My name's Cave Johnson. And boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. I'm gonna turn up my audio volume, because I'm, I'm afraid it might be too low. I don't want you to- I don't want you guys to miss this, uh, very nice voice acting we've got going on here. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait, where are we again? Uh -huh. Okay, so, this town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're okay. still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science! For now though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Okay. I'm just gonna look at these advertisements here. Amphetamines. Keep you testing efficiency. Efficiency? Efficiently. Aperture Cola. Quantum. Lightest model yet. Tunneling device. Oh, that's interesting. What else we got? Aperture Leisure. Sphere 1, Shaft 6. Oh, uh, I think we're almost here. Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Chris, get out of here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Pack your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't be record this. <clears throat> <laughs> Some of the dialogue doesn't match up very well with the uh, subtitles, but that's okay. This is a mod, after all. A very well-done mod, if I do say so myself, so far. Okay. Got here. Repulsion gel. That's familiar. Science spheres. <laughs> now with asbestos. Superconductor test. Superpowers. Super tru <laughs> Superpowers. Super tumors are both. <laughs> 
Is that is that is that what it says? Super tumors? Yeah, super tumors. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Conductor tests and become the human specimen you always dreamed to be. Or become the world's biggest cancer victim, I guess. Uh Aperture Science Innovators. Let me get in a bit closer. Withhold the right to be angry about any exploded eyes or teeth during conductor tests. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What else we got? I think that's it. Yeah, we'll go. Ah, oh, that's funny. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out. And as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray exploration. Don't worry, no. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Okay. I will, uh, I will take note of that. And, uh, just make sure that my, uh... Ah, never mind. Let's go up here. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete, on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet, either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands-on. Okay. Noted. Ooh. Guessing this is where I'm supposed to go. It seems pretty obvious. I'm just gonna look at this very quickly, just to... Uh, this looks like it would be good for the thumbnail for this video. Okay. In we go. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. Okay. What's over here? Ooh. Uh, I hate secrets. Oh, hello. Aperture scientists. Being very busy. Standing absolutely still. Okay. Moving on. What do we got here? Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians. We want the best and you're it. Sign up today. Oh, these... this looks familiar. Yeah, this looks very familiar. Anyway, we'll just keep going. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Okay, was it up, up the stairs? No, no, that's where I came down. I'm, I'm stupid. What the fuck? Oh no, oh, I came from. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna go this way. Ah, here's the elevator. Just want to look around a little bit. Really take the time to examine this mod. That's cool. I am here. Okay. <laughs> Poor Mr. Johnson. He looks for the best, but he can't get the best. Thank you. 
Doctor, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine to do all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Okay. What is this exact? Oh. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss me. Anyway, the <laughs> cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they went in their pants and they threw them out the door. I made the bills. I make the decisions around here. I hire the fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Sorry about the sound of motorcycles in the background. I'm doing this during the day, so... Anyway, I... Wasn't exactly paying attention to what was being said right there, but... Whatever. I see we have some... I think that's Alpha Gel, also known as Repulsion Gel. Wonder where it's going. to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Got it, an hour at most if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. Okay. I like to sleep, so let's get on with that. Ooh. White walls. Noted. More white walls. Aha, I think we're here. Okay then. I'm just going to scoot my uh, watermark to a different corner very quickly. Maybe, I don't know, right here? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Did it just crash? I think it just crashed. Alright, the game crashed, but it's okay. I'm back where I was. Anyway... As I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. Don't give us results. <laughs> Don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. If you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're fire and blanks. At least that's what the crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappear, isn't it? Okay. Um, where am I going again? This way, I believe. I think I need to get in there. Where am I going here? Oh, maybe it's this way. Oh, 
Ooh. Gotta see this picture. What do we got here? Cave jaw. Ooh. Now, is this a custom picture? Is this a custom-made painting right here? Or is this... Uh... An official game asset. I don't know, but, uh... Hey, if it is custom-made, then good job, whoever painted this. It's really nice. Alright. Toilets. Test subject waiting area. I think I need to go over here. Or maybe not. Now. Let's go this way. Over here, maybe? No? Oh. Let's go up the stairs. I should really start paying more attention to what Cave Johnson says. some chairs. Can't get in there. So let's go this way. Looking for a bed. It's over here. Okay. I feel like I'm walking in a uh, a laboratory slash college. All right. Go this way. Where am I supposed to go here? Looking, I'm looking for a bed. Well, maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Test subject waiting area. Maybe I'm supposed to keep going. What's over here? No, okay. So I guess this is where I'm supposed to be. So... Maybe I go in here? Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry lied to me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Just gonna look at the artwork a little bit. Where do I go? This way? No? I guess I have to go through the turrets. Oops. My mistake. I missed the E button. Aha! If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Alright, just give me a second. I'm just looking around a little bit, looking at my room. Okay, there's not much to see. Let's sleep. Ooh, nice animation. Good night. Okay. Now what? Whoa, red light. I'm not in a car or anything. So what's up? Uh-oh. What happened to the logo? That looks oddly familiar. Or very similar, I should say. Uh-oh. I'm awake. The, is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right. You can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was, uh... Slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. 
Just uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out there. Okay. Oh my. Don't what? worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Okay. So can I just jump down? Ah, oh, yes. Of course. Uh, I guess I go this way. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you uh, a new device to help you. Yeah, that's right. A new... Okay. Oh my. I'm assuming this is the, uh... The prototype There's portal gun. Nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. But don't worry though, we built the building like this. Okay. Uh, don't worry about that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spirits in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. Okay. So... Got a white wall here. Um... No, that doesn't work. Can I maybe... So, okay, that works. Obviously. I need another white wall. Where are you? Maybe I just keep going? I don't know. Is there a door around here somewhere, maybe? Once again, I really need to pay attention to what this guy is saying here. Can I use that? No. Ooh. No, it doesn't work. Where am I going? Oh. There we go. I knew I'd figure, it out, figure that out. Anyway. Come on. Get through the... Through the door. Through the portal. Come on. There we go. Now, that's the Cave Johnson that I'm familiar with. Oh, shit. I think my neighbors are setting off fireworks. Uh, can I get in there some... Maybe? Uh... Hello? Oh! No. It's something white. Something... That doesn't work. There's no way I'm getting up there. Hmm. Was there any point to coming up here? Oh, maybe I... Maybe I need to get back out. Duh. <laughs> so I guess if I just do that... Jump out. And then... On the wall over here, boom! Now I'm in. Don't mind all this too. We just had uh, earthquakes, lots of earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. <laughs> sure. All right. Um. Guess I just fall through. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. Okay. At least the doors still right, work. So, the earthquakes. Kinda did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door too. You'll have to find another way out. Okay. Um, if there's a white wall out there somewhere... Hmm, I might be able to find a way out. Oh, of course. Of course there's a panel right here. So now I just gotta figure out... Why's my frame rate going down a little bit? Or maybe that's just my imagination. So, now I just gotta figure out... But there's gotta be something you can use to launch yourself over the door. There has to be another way out. 
Oh, I'm sure there is, Mr. Johnson. I'm sure there is. Perhaps in here. Aha! Oh, crap. Those turrets. Wait, are they doing anything? I don't think they are. Um... No, actually, this might not work. Or maybe it will. Is there a button around here? Aha! This will work. I'm a genius! So. Yes! Yes! Ha! Is it gonna stop anytime soon? Nope, guess not. So I'll just have to get rid of it somehow. Oh, okay, it did stop. Anyway. <clears throat> You're not gonna cause any trouble, are you? Alright, um... So, now, we'll just place the blue portal here. And then the orange portal right up here. And we'll be out of here in no time. Did I happen to mention I was a genius? I'm pretty sure I didn't. So I'll say it now. I'm a genius! But then again, these are the early levels, so... Alright, here we go. That was easy. I know, things might look different than what you're used to, but uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some... some... Uh, aperture science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. Beyond that door is one of the new testing tracks. Totally, okay. completely new. Get through it and head to the first testing sphere. I'll let you know more there. Alright. So, I think I'm going to end this video as soon as we get to the first testing sphere. Because I'm, I'm assuming that's where the first map begins and the intro ends. So... Let's get a move on now, here. I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through and install one where people needed to go through. What? Uh... Maybe I just go through here? Authorized personnel only. Oh. Am I gonna die if I go through here? Let's find out. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I just gotta find the other door. No big deal. I just want to make sure you yeah, know yeah, yeah, I know. go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through and install one where people needed to go through. <laughs> All right, well, we got a white wall here. Uh, perhaps, what's over here? It said saving, so, can't get through here. Uh, aperture cola doesn't help me. Oh, you got to Oh my god, I am, I, sometimes I'm not very thorough. Turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The others trick by a circuit breaker. I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. 
There's a white wall in here. So I'm assuming this is going to start a countdown timer. So when I pull this lever, I'll need to quickly get over there and pull the other one. Let's do it. Oh, wait a minute. No. Oh, that's what these walls are for. These white walls are for. I thought they were useless. Aha. Uh -huh. Of course. Now I can turn the power back on and get back over there. Duh. Alright. Remember, you can always turn the power on or off again. I got it, Mr. Johnson. Alright, now I'm on the other side of the wall. So I'll put the blue portal over here. And then... Yep, just as I suspected. Uh-oh, that door's opening. Oh my. Now, how do we get over there? I guess we just get down. <laughs> okay. How do we get down there? Oh, wait, there's white wall. Duh. Oh, well, that doesn't help me. That does. Alright. I'm assuming we are off to the first test chamber. Uh, if I can just find it. Ah. There we go. New testing track is just through here. All right. We're coming to the end of the intro. All right. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that, that's meant to happen. Just to test your uh Reflexes, reflexes, you know, after your short sleep. After my short sleep, right. So that's the first testing chamber, I'm assuming. Now, how do we get over there? Maybe I can just jump down here and... Let me just make sure I don't have any other alternatives. It's looking like that's going to be it right there. All right, here we go. We'll just follow the the uh, alpha gel tube right on over here, and then we'll just jump on down. Beautiful. All right. Whoa, what the hell? Ah, yes, Bravo Volta. The. Hold on. Fifth testing track, yes, fifth. You'll need a portal device to get through. Uh, uh sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling device. I, look, it's in your hands right now. Uh, the scientists did their job. You'll do fine. All right, well. This is obviously the first level, so that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, we will tackle the first map, or first level. I'm going to use those two words interchange interchangeably because I'm lazy like that. So, since you made it this far into the video, I would really appreciate it if you'd leave a rating. If you want to see more, then be sure to subscribe. Check out the following links. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, take it easy.